I need to do something for myself. This past summer, I recorded a ton of footage on Byerly so that I could take the time during my school semester to only worry about editing. This was working at first, but I would really miss playing the account, and it's discouraging to play it knowing I have a lot of content to catch you all up on. In the last episode, I finished off with Monkey Madness. That was filmed four months ago. I'm going to be putting two episodes out just a few days apart. I want to catch you guys up to exactly where I am right now, this very moment on the account. It's going to help me make more consistent episodes and get excited about this series like I was months ago. It's safe to say, there's been a lot that's happened since then. That being said, let's stop fooling around. Quest Man is back. This guy was looking at me funny. I'm about to do Haunted Mine. The premise is there's a haunted mine at the end of this swamp. I know it's got a pretty hard boss at the end, but I'm not too wor- Why? You're still alive, is he? You're not coming with me. You're not supposed to make guest appearances. People say I I'm in your shadow all the time. They say all these mean things. Gridlock, really? This guy's a nutcase. Oh, what a humble guy. Hey, look out, idiot. I'm just gonna keep killing these things until he gets scared of how powerful I am and then and then he leaves. Yeah, I hopped worlds to get away from him. He didn't He didn't leave. But this is Zelot, and uh, he's got the key to get in the mine. He's not gonna give it to us, so we're gonna steal it from his pocket. Problem solved. Okay, well, here's the mine. It is haunted. The whole reason we're navigating this mine is to get a salve amulet. It's a necklace that helps us kill dead things. My favorite pastime. I'm pulling levers and switches, and hopefully this works, whatever I'm doing. Simple dodge and weave maneuvers take care of business. Pardon me, don't we hit? Oh, oh my god, why, why, shit? Oh. I don't know what I'm doing, baby. Who are you? Mischievous ghost. Get away from me. Oh, just turn the valve. I just turned that thing. It just undid what I did. Yeah, the ghosts here, they don't hurt you or anything. They just shit on anything productive you do. I made it to the boss room. People have been telling me this thing is hard. I don't believe that for a second. I have a dragon scimitar. Hello? Take innocent looking key. It's an innocent looking key, huh? Oh, look how innocent it was. What the? I thought this was an innocent key this whole time. Well, there's the boss. We have to somehow navigate through its obstacle course and, and hit it a bunch of times. Oh, this thing hits hard. Nice. The mechanics here suck. You have to manually click on each square. If anything's in your way, it doesn't let you move. I can't move. Okay, nice. I didn't hit a single time. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, of course. Of course this thing is here. Are you kidding me? All right, stay right there. Oh, good. What happened back there? There was pickaxes and minecarts. What? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. One more, please. Okay, of course it goes to the literal other side of the room. I'm down to my last food. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I'm getting out of here. I'm trying this again. That was stupid. I brought a special weapon this time. That's what I'm talking about. Watch this. DDS go! What? It just totally blocked one of the special attack hits. Oh, it did it again. This is it, baby. We're about to bury this thing. Oh my god. We're gonna get this guy. Or girl. I don't really know. I got it. Thank God. Don't worry, Key. You can follow all your morals now. I'm gonna take real good care of you. Holy shit, I'm rich. I just hit the jackpot. <laughs> what is this stuff? Oh, 141 quest points. I am talented. Now, how do I fit all these crystals in my pocket? There's a common misconception about trolls that they're all a bunch of idiots and they don't have real feelings. That's only half right. They have some feelings in there somewhere. We're heading to the stronghold to do troll romance and play Cupid. This is our first quest of 2005. There were almost 30 quests released before 2006. It's pretty wild to think we only get two or three new ones each year now. Makes me a sad boy. Here's our guy. Oh, Rick wants to frame us for robbery real quick. All right. Anyway, this is Ugg. He loves a troll named Aga? Aga. That sounds more gross and trollish. He loves Aga and she's with a Chad troll named Arg. Since Ugg is a giant pansy, he wants us to do all the home wrecking for him because, well, Oh, fuck me, right? Wow. All right. Yeah, I definitely see why Ugg is in love with this absolute smoke show. Aga says Arg doesn't treat her right. Surprise. She wants a flower from her boyfriend, and it's a pain in the ass to get, but she believes in him because he's a big, strong asshole troll. We're going to help Ugg win her over by making him give her the flower, and that'll work. 100%. Foolproof plan. What do you think about Ugg? Who? Oh yeah, this will definitely work. We're consulting Tenzing, the mountain master, and he's telling us we're gonna need to go sledding to get the flower. You guys all remember Dunstan? He just made us a sled. So now we need to go deep into troll territory and find this thing. See, this is what I was saying. Trolls can either be sweethearts that are hopelessly romantic, or they're absolute lunatics who kill on sight. Oh, this place is nice. Let's ride this thing, baby. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. This is awesome. X Games by release edition. By release! That was quite a ride. That's my motto. Man, I am at peace. I want to stay on this thing for 
hours. Here's the flower thing the girl wanted. It really wasn't that hard to get here. That was very underwhelming. Man, I'm gonna miss this place. Okay, we're back to Ugg. I have the flower here, but he's still scared of the douchebag boyfriend, so you know me. I'm gonna solve this guy's problems through violence, even though I just met him and this doesn't benefit me at all. If you're not killing the other guy, you're just not a good wingman. I'm challenging Arg to a fight. He wants to fight me in front of everybody. Family, friends, the entire troll tribe. Bold move. You see this sword above my head? You ever seen something like that before? Oh god, he's ranging me. There we go. He said his own name when he died. That's quirky. Alright, Ugg was hesitant, but we're calling him a puss, so he's finally gonna go talk to Aga. Big fan of the agility XP. Oh good, he's still crying in the corner. He didn't go talk to her. It's great timing, man. She's mourning over her dead boyfriend. She's gonna be super stoked that you're hitting on her. Flawless plan, buddy. Good luck. I'm back in this dumpster fire of a place to start up in search of Meyerke. We started up by talking to this sketch ball in the corner, Vanstrom Claus, and he wants us to help out a vampire hunting group, the Meyerke. We're gonna help him out by giving them weapons, hence all the deadly steel shit in my inventory. I made them all myself, by the way, with my little hands. I'm heading through Swampland, I got some more druid pouch charges, and I'm gonna locate our ride. This guy, Sireg, Paddlehorn, dumb name, he's gonna take us to the Meyerke. I gave him some planks to fix his boat, because I'm an awesome guy. Oh god, he wants 10 GP. I did not bring any money at all. Okay. What can I kill? I just remembered Ghost in the City protagonist owns a general store. What can I get for a lobster? Yeah, okay. If I die because of this dude, I'm deleting my SoundCloud. I'm really curious what this guy's gonna spend 10 GP on. I don't know how many bridges I've fixed in my lifetime, but it's an impressive amount. Here's one of the vampire hunters. Jeez, buddy, are those sweatpants? Or are you just thick as fuck? I outsmarted him and he let me in, so I'm at the Meyerke hideout. Hi, everyone! I brought you weapons for you to kill things. This guy's the Meyerke leader and he wants me to meet the rest of the gang. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Sure, man. Okay, thanks. Alright, I met him. Okay, thanks. Okay, thanks. Okay, th- Oh, hey. Okay, thanks. We met the whole crew. We have a vampire spelt with a Y because we're from the UK in the room. No, please, not the cloud vampire. Oh, no, it's just the shady guy from the bar. Well, I just got everyone killed. Yeah, yeah, my fault. Harold! Harold, no! This guy just hit a 30 with a rune knife. That's terrifying. He brought his skeleton puppy to fight us. That's a lot easier. Protection prayers are awesome. So we could use an underground shortcut to avoid the swamp now. Thank God. All right, we're supposed to go confront this dude back at the bar as if he's still gonna be there. Yep, he's not here. There just happens to be another hooded guy sitting exactly where he was. It sounds like you've got a score to... You fanboy ass motherfucker. Okay, we did it. Let's get the hell out of this place, baby. On January 26th, 2005, players were able to approach these NPCs known as Masters. The Masters would say, hey, you're gonna go kill whatever I tell you to kill. And the players were like, alright. Slayer would go on to be one of the best money makers that the game has ever seen and one of the most enjoyable skills to train. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go give our friend Vanica a visit and get our first ever Slayer task on the account. What's a Slayer? Oh dear, what do they teach you in school? Back in my day, we were learning how to massacre people and animals in second grade. 96. Seven crocodiles. That seems excessive. Oh good, I just looked them up. They don't come out for another four months. Okay, I'm not entirely sure if you could do this when Slayer first came out, but I want to do a task or two since it's a pretty big unlock. I'm gonna go change the task with the Birthwort Master. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce his name. You know who he is. Now that's a task I know I can do. There's the first Slayer level on the account. Very iconic moment. Level five, baby. This is easy. First task is done. Vanica. Oh my god. Looks like we're venturing out to the wilderness again. It's my favorite place. Kev, you stop Stumble into me in the wildy. What are you doing? I would beg you to not kill me. I would I would suck any part of your body you asked me to. That sounds very correct. My ass is clenched hard and I'm ready to rumble. There's 10 Slayer. 15 Slayer, baby. Hard clue scroll. Those were out. I could do that. I mean, I probably physically can't do it, but you know what I mean. This cannon has just been sitting here and I hope whoever owns it doesn't come back. And there's 20. Going fast. Oh, bogey spotted three o'clock. That guy's screwed. We're done. We did that whole task out here. No casualties. Just a whole lot of experience. Oh, you bald bitch. Ankus were not out until the stronghold of security, even the ones in the wilderness. Not for another year. So thanks a lot, buddy. Dude, no, why? You guys didn't need to see what happened, okay? Don't look over there. Don't look over there. I could do these, but I need to do something less violent. Hot damn, we just got ourselves 75 wood cutting. This is phase one of acquiring a magic short bow. Now I just need seven more very long and grueling fletching levels that that blows so apparently you're all watching Swampletics right now, because we're here again. We're doing the Frankenstein parody quest. It's a pretty breezy quest, and it'll give us access to experiments. Oh, that's the Slayer Tower. Somebody hold my hand, please. I'm begging. I used to train on experiments as a kid, and I'm pretty sure they're one of the best methods I have available after this. So I might pay him a visit in the near future and get big and strong and 
and scary. Okay, this is the right place. This is Fankenstrain. This lunatic wants us to get him body parts. That's literally all he's telling us. This gardener here got decapitated, so we're gonna have him show us where his head is so we can take it and keep him in purgatory for all of eternity. Yeah, this place is fucked up. Okay, I found his cut-off head. Just gonna keep it in my backpack. There's a brain on this table in a jar, and I'm gonna buy it. Not even for the quest, I'm gonna eat it later. I found this little symbol earlier. It's gonna let me go in this underground area where the experiments are. Look at this thing. It's a wolf girl. Give me your key. And a sheepdog. What a crazy guy. There's a secret entrance to some graves over here, so we're gonna steal some body parts. Just a casual afternoon for us. Oh boy, arms! Just threw them right in my bag. I'm posting them on eBay later. Wow, doesn't let me jump this. I can definitely make that. Okay, game. So before we can create this absolute shit show of a person, we need to go fix a lightning rod upstairs, so I'm gonna go figure that out. Yeah, so fixing the lightning rod wasn't an option, so here I am, smelting a new one from scratch. I cannot wait to sprint 86,000 miles back to Mauritania. Don't walk in my way, cleaner. Don't walk in my way. Don't get in my path. Dear God, look at this thing. Imagine waking up and this is the body you have to deal with now. What's the point? Okay, I fixed the lightning rod. And there's the lightning. Thanks, nature. You're super convenient. The monster is not here. All right, good. Oh, nice. The doc wants me to kill the thing since it went berserk when it woke up. Just got off the table and started raising hell. I don't blame him. Ah, here he is. Oh my god, we're giving him a mirror. Yeah. Yeah, there's the reaction. So apparently the brain we bought from the bar was the guy who used to own this place. And Dr. Frankenstrain is an asshole. It's up to us to stop him somehow. I'm just gonna creep behind him and pick his pocket. Oh, all right, we stole this ring and apparently that's mission accomplished. Well, see you later, guy. Good luck getting laid. Quest number 70 is Roving Elves. The last quest I do in the Elf series before I officially hate the Elf series. This quest is pretty anticlimactic, so let me summarize. I charted to Port Tyrus to get to the Elf land fast. I talked to Isol whatever the shit to start, and it was established that Elves think humans are all incompetent idiots who are useless and provide nothing to society. His grandma happens to be Glarial from Waterfall Quest. To prove ourselves, we have to consecrate Glarial's tomb with a seed. To get the seed, I had to defeat a moss giant with no weapons and no armor. Prayers up. Easy. I went back and had a lunatic bless the seed. Uh... Hello? What? They teleported mid-conversation, those rude assholes! Then I went to Waterfall and planted the seed. Wait, I was supposed to use a rope! I was supposed to use a rope! God damn it! It's pretty. I went back to them to finish up, and I got myself a crystal bow that I definitely cannot use yet. Next time I see these guys, we start the Morning's End series. Am I- am I about to get mugged? Who is this jerk off? You want a piece of this? He has no interest in fighting me? He clearly has an interest in eye fucking me. I can grab my dragon dagger out of the bank too. If, if that's what kind of game you're trying to play here. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Yeah, hold on one sec. Let me get a little something something. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, so welcome back to Swamp Kid. We're doing Ghost Ahoy. I'm not looking forward to making Ecto tokens, but it'll be nice finally being able to teleport here and not running halfway across the map. If you've never made Ecto tokens before, you basically have to crush bones, put them in a pot with this machine. Half an inventory takes about six hours, and then you have to run buckets downstairs to fill those buckets up with slime. Wait, can I use the shortcut? 58. Are you kidding me? Also, you can worship some ghost god and get ghost money. I don't really understand it at all, but every boy must go through it to become a man. This is Velarina. She's dead. Basically, everyone in this town is stuck in purgatory because some guy near the ghost altar is a boomer. I just asked the guy politely if these guys can go into the afterlife and he threatened to kill me. To help Velarina out, our plan is to put a spell on our ghost speak amulet and it lets us Jedi mind trick ghosts into doing whatever we say. This lady right here can put the spell on the amulet. We just need to get her some book, which we need to find through a treasure map. And and then we need to steal Ghost Boomer's robes upstairs in his room. We're also gonna find her ghost son and give him his toy. It's really, really sad. So for whatever reason, I have to paint this kid's ship and use the wind to learn the correct colors. That makes as much sense to me as it does to you. We're just gonna go with it. I painted the ship. Plot twist, her son is alive and he's been on this ship two minutes away from her house this whole time. He gave us the first piece of the map to find the book we need. Found the second piece. Uh-oh, it's a giant lobster. I got the third map piece. This book is on Dragon. Dragon Tooth Island. I'm paying this guy 25 ghost money to get there. Should be right here. Yay! The samurai warrior back in Ghost Town can translate this book we found, but he's only willing to give us the translation book if we can get Robin Hood to sign an oak longbow for him. Robin's in this bar and he's a gambling addict, so we're gonna put him in so much debt that he gives us his signature. There we go. Now give me your hat too, or else. Okay, we got the translation book. Boo! <laughs> Idiot, it's just me. Stay on your toes. Since I look identical to all the other ghosts here now, we're gonna bribe all of them to sign a petition to support Velarina. Some of these guys are trying to pry all of my ghost money out of me. This is 
messed up. Imagine begging for my life savings just to sign your name on a paper. All right, I got 10 signatures now. Let's see what Necrovarus has to say to this. Hey, he told me to rot in hell. Glad I did that. That was really dumb. Why did I spend so much time getting 10 ghosts to sign a paper? Why would 10 ghosts autographs mean anything to this guy who regularly makes death threats? It's fine. Let's rob him. Yeah, I stole his robes because he sucks. Now where's his wallet? Now the old crone can make our ghost speak amulet convince that guy to do whatever we want. She's, she's enchanting it right now, but... She's dancing. This lady is an absolute gem. What do you command this guy to do? Do a chicken impression, or else. Well, we made him say it out loud once, so apparently it's a law. Sweet. Velarina just gave us an ectophile to teleport here unlimited times, and quest complete. We made a ton of progress. I've got two more quests before I have you guys completely caught up to where I'm at. As I mentioned earlier, I'll be putting that out in the next few days. Feels good to finally be getting after it again. See you guys in the next one, and with a banger.